Hi, I'm Steve White. And I'm Paige Cree. Right. <laughs> we are going to make something today called brownie fluff cookies. And we came across the recipe. I was asking my physical therapy lady what her favorite cookie was, and she said chocolate crinkle cookies. So I Googled it and tried to make them, and they didn't turn out. They turned into something else, something more wonderful than ever. It's like a brownie, but you can eat more of them. Instead of eating one or two brownies, you can eat like eight of these cookies and not feel overwhelmed. Cool. <laughs> We're excited. We do. Great. Okay. okay, so we are going to make the brownie fluff cookies, and the ingredients are one cup of cocoa powder, one and a half cups of sugar, half a cup of oil. That's all going to go into the KitchenAid first, and it kind of turns into like a paste. Then we're going to add the four eggs and the two teaspoons of vanilla. That's going to go in here. Then in the dry, dry ingredients, we're going to have two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. That's it. That's all that goes in. Oh my so I, I guess it's my turn. We just had the phone ring. I had to stop. By the way, we were on a roll too. Okay, I, I'm going to do the actual work, and Paige is going to teach me how to make these brownie fluff cookies. So I'm pretty excited about that. So we have a half a cup of vegetable oil. And do you, you, can you use olive oil? In this? I haven't tried. Okay. I don't know. I'm. We could try it. We could try it. Yeah. So uh, try not try today, it. but sometime. Yeah. yeah. So it's a half a cup of oil, one cup of cocoa powder, and this is. You, you, I noticed you used Giordelli's, the good I stuff. I did, I yeah. like that. I and like Giordelli's. We have one and a half cups of sugar. There's one cup. There's one half cup. Perfect. And then I crank this up to blend it together on low speed. I think to start, we're going to have a cloud. So we're going to let this blend, and, and uh, Paige tells me it's going to turn into a paste. Is that good? Yeah, I think so. That's it? Yeah, yeah. Really? Okay, now we're going to add the vanilla. And I like to use fancy vanilla. I think it really makes a difference in the cookies and everything. It's sure. like $15 a bottle, which is outrageous, but wow. I think it's worth it. We're going to put two tablespoons of vanilla in. Mm -hmm. Woo. Okay. Okay. There we go. And then we're also adding four eggs. I'm going to add the eggs. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks perfect. That looks okay. perfect. We don't want to over whip it. We just yeah. want to make sure that it's mixed well. And it looks like it's a nice consistency. Let's turn it on so you can see the consistency. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, yeah. Now we're going to add in the drying and the flour and, and the baking powder, and, right? powder and the salt. And the salt. And we'll, we'll mix these up. It just looks like a With a little, a little whipper upper here I have. Oh, I like that. Okay. There, we'll sort of blend that all together so that we don't Now, the have reason that we are mixing this first is because we don't want to over mix the batter. My, I'm injured. I'm doing the heavy lift. Should I pour it all in? Yes, put it in. Put it in. All right. Put it down with this spatula. Okay, it's in. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. We have it all in. And we we start it up with uh, slow. slow. And then so it doesn't go everywhere. Yes. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Okay, hit it. Hit it. Okay, all right. Let's down real quick. Hit it. That was beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. When we turn off the mixer, see how the dough is still moving. It's nice and soft. Okay, now what do we do? We're gonna lower the mixer. Okay. We're gonna get the we're gonna get the mix into a container to store overnight so it gets nice and cold. So we don't use this right now? No, no, no. It has to be left overnight in the refrigerator. Oh, so we're, we're gonna put this in another container and then store it overnight? We're gonna store it overnight. Oh. Okay. It says four hours or overnight. I've never done it four hours. I always do it overnight. Do it I want to be sure. No problem. After this much time invested in making the cookies, I want to make sure they turn out. Okay. So this is it. That's it. And uh, we'll put this in a container and then we'll put it in the refrigerator. And then overnight we'll be back and, and we may even be wearing the same clothes. No! <laughs> Now, I haven't tried to change this recipe into a healthier version, but we can do that at a later date, substituting applesauce for the oil and using maybe almond flour and cashew flour instead of the regular flour, or in addition to. Okay, now the next step is the pans. I've got these extra large cookie sheets, you can use whatever you want, lined with parchment paper. 
And we're gonna use two pans today because we're not sure which cookie scoops we want. Okay. Here, if you lay it on here, and then you just use your fingernails, you can make a line. And you know where to cut. reason I encourage cutting this is so that it doesn't slide around in the oven. We have two different cookie scoops here. Okay, so we're going to use one tray with one scoop and the bigger one with the other one and see which ones we like best. Okay, so we took the powdered sugar and put it in a bowl and then with these scoopers here we're going to scoop the dough that's been refrigerated overnight. Yes, we're, we're, in the, we're in the same clothes as we were yesterday, but we, we won't shower it. <laughs> okay, so you can see this is much more set up. I think you need to put a little cooking spray on our scoops. So I'm going to dip these, and what do I drop them in the powdered sugar? Wait. Like that? Yeah, perfect. That's yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's easy enough. Yeah, and I think these are going to be the size that we want. Um, Steve's going to scoop, and I'm going to kind of roll them around in the powdered sugar. powdered sugar. And they're very stable, so... See? Okay. Yeah, that's perfect, Steve. Okay, so we used about a cup of, um, about a cup of powdered sugar. So what, what Paige just told me is that she keeps this in the refrigerator mm -hmm. so you can bake these every night. Every night. If you want to, you could. Quick. So we're going to put these in the oven and we're going to bake them 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. And hopefully the pan's going to fit in the oven. Okay, the cookies have been in 12 minutes. We're going to check them. I think they look good. Pull them out. Oh, I think those look good. Very nice. Okay, it's been about three minutes. Do, it has. Do you Let's, take them off? There I'm now? gonna try to take them off. All right. Oh, perfect. Oh, look at that. Oh, lovely. There's two. For Very me. nice. Three for so me. So that was twelve minutes. Four for Steve, me. Steve, you can have them all. Five for me. One for Rosie. <laughs> yes, you could. Yeah. These are so good. They're not like any cookie I ever had. They're they are like a brownie. And they absolutely. But they feel like a cookie. They came <laughs> upon by accident. Yeah. And our best cooking comes upon by accident. Sometimes, yep. Sometimes it's the best just an, It was just an accident trying to make That's a true. chocolate crinkle cookie that just didn't turn out. How long do we let them cool before we can actually eat one? I think you could probably eat one in a minute. Okay, we'll get it one, one more minute and we'll eat that. We have one more tray of cookies in the oven now. A little bit larger. We use the larger yeah, the bigger ones. Yeah, the bigger so ones. We're yeah. going to leave them probably a little longer or will they cook about the same amount of time? Maybe a little bit longer. A little longer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go like 13 minutes. Okay. And a, a nice lucky number. Yeah, 13 minutes. <laughs> okay, we're going to check the bigger cookies. They've been in 13 minutes. The smaller cookies we did for 12 minutes. And I think these look good. Okay, so you, you just took these out of the oven. I did, and we let them sit here for three to four minutes, and that just lets them firm up. Oh, perfect. So that we can get them onto the tray without crinkling them. Right away, they would just squish, squish together because they are fluff, they're brownie fluff. And every time I have a bite, I curse myself because now I'm like, now every time I look at them, I need to make a decision whether or not I'm gonna have them. <laughs> With well, a brownie, I am, I'm I'm gonna, definitely not gonna, gonna have, have one. one. Don't, definitely don't wanna have one. We're gonna give these about two or three minutes to kind of cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna eat a cookie. And you can see how the, it looks, these are darker now that they've cooled. Yeah. These are a little bit lighter. Well, Maybe I'll start the with these, and then I'll move over okay. to these. Okay. <laughs> It's time for us to taste the cookies. <laughs> so I'm going to taste them because Paige doesn't eat chocolate, right? I don't. What a shame. I can't believe it. <laughs> These are so good. These are so good. I can't start. <laughs> I'm so glad you like them. Oh. 
and you can eat many of them. Or the brownie, you can really only eat. It's so unusual because usually at a party, I have so much of everything, and I put the chocolate cookies out just like as a last minute. Like, let's just get rid of these. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, would you like to come over and try a cookie? Sure. Ro Rosie will come over and do a cookie as well. I'll try a cookie. Which one? You this one? one? Whatever one you want. Okay, well, this one's a cool so good. Oops. Maybe a plate, my dear. Oh! They are delicious. Can I have more? Thank I you. mean, this is one. <laughs> Those are for you. Those are for you guys. Yeah, you are this one. Whatever you do, stop what we're doing right now. Go get these ingredients and make these cookies. You saw how fast it was. It, it, it goes quickly and it's oh, worth it. It's cookie. worth the time. This is the best cookie I ever had. Yeah. This uh -huh. is better than chocolate chip cookies. I know you don't believe that. <laughs> these are better than chocolate chip cookies. And you can eat more. Yeah, yes. you can eat more. <laughs> okay, babes, that was great. And I, the cookies are so good. I really enjoy them. Especially coming from somebody who doesn't eat chocolate. Yeah, Paige doesn't even eat chocolate, <laughs> eat chocolate, but she makes the best chocolate. I cookies. do, and I cook chocolate all the time because I won't be tempted to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> so next we're going to make something called um, amaretto cookies. They're almond cookies. They don't have any butter. They don't have any oil. It's just egg whites, and they're yummy, and they're healthy. Oh, so let's great. try something really healthy. Oh, yes. Okay. So look for that video. Please hit the like button, subscribe, give, give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.